What's your thank god that's over with, and I never have to do it again thing in your life. <laughs> Working in a restaurant. I spent 10 years of my life in that business both serving and managing. 5 years and 40k in net later I finally just started my new career. No offense to anyone that works in the industry or truly loves it, but I came to despise the hospitality business. I could feel it sucking the energy from my soul. Edit. For everyone asking, my 40k in debt is from tuition costs, after earning my engineering degree, not from working in restaurants. It's the best money I have ever spent. Night shifts. To you out there doing it now, you're the real heroes of the night. I carry a taser for work. In order to pass certification I had to take an exposure, get tasered. Never again. Serving as a nuclear reactor operator in the US Navy. Cool job. Gave me lots of opportunities. But damn. Student loans. I used to work in this absolute asterisk s asterisk asterisk t asterisk medical job. It was the absolute worst, because there wasn't a single good thing about it. The people I worked with were s asterisk asterisk t. The people I interacted with were s asterisk asterisk t. You could go into that place at 5am happy as can be, and leave the place after 6 failed bathroom noosings, just to try again the next day. When I put in my 2 weeks those feelings amped up to 11. It was like everyone who was s asterisk asterisk t the entire time I was there decided it wasn't enough, and leaned into it. Like you got a heaven pass to leave hell and all the demons were pissed that you're getting out, and they have to stay behind, so they claw at you the whole way out in hopes that you die before you leave. F asterisk asterisk k hospitals, man. The absolutely horrific burning pain of a urinary tract infection. My bar exam to get licensed as an attorney. It was the worst, and I'm so glad it is over. My dissertation. I would never want to do that again. I worked for two weeks in a call center and the entire time I spent staring at my desk. I did this for 10 hours a day, because the company president was out of the office and they refused to get me set up with a password or let me browse a web etc etc. After two weeks I came back the following Monday, started my day, and then with nothing changing I just walked out of the building and went home. My car was broken down at the time, so it took several hours to get home. Glad that is over and done with. No way I'll ever work in another call center. When I got in my accident I just wanted to be independent again. Had to move back home with my mom, and stay in the main floor cause of my wheelchair. They said it never walk again. Lots of hard work later, I walk unaided most days. Five years later I'm fully independent, and living in my own place with the love of my life. Edit. Thanks, everybody. Just for more info I broke both my legs, and dislocated both knees. Also had heart failure, and was resuscitated at the hospital. Unfortunately the army didn't help much, but I had an excellent lawyer, to help with the auto insurance company. There's lots to be thankful for in this life. Sometimes you just have to look harder, but you'll find many reasons to keep going. Being addicted to heroin and being homeless. In two years clean with a family of my own and a place to call home. I left that life and I'll never look back. Chemotherapy. Well I hope I never have to go through it again, because it's god awful. Finding a first job. It was at least 90% luck, and a whole bunch of feeling worthless. As of yesterday morning I passed the most extensive and difficult of my three professional licensure exams, and I had this exact thought as I sat in my car outside of the testing center shedding tears of relief. I've been studying for my licensure exams in every free moment, since January of this year, now all I have to do, is submit the extensive documentation needed, and wait for board approval. Thank god that's over with, and I never have to do it again. Edit. Because a lot of people are asking him in mental health counseling. I've now passed the NSA National Counseling Exam and the NCMHCE National Clinical Mental Health Counseling Examination and I'm set to become an LPCMHSP licensed professional counselor with a mental health service provider designation. <laughs> Running a marathon. Mentally at F asterisk asterisk KED with me and beat me down. I'm a very slow runner, and they had opened the roads back up, and the course was no longer marked, they kept finish line up. 
I was heartbroken and embarrassed that I was literally last. I also didn't know the official course, so I ended up running 27 miles. I was determined to finish, but I will never do that again. Checked off the bucket list. Eater, holy crap. Y'all are amazing, and the love and comments is amazing. I can be my own worst critic, but everyone is right. I finished. My hubs likes to remind me that I was one of 400 people that ran a marathon that day, and one of the zero. 5% of the population that has ever completed one thanks to all. <laughs> Homework. I love the fact that I don't have to worry about writing essays or studying after I get back home from work. <laughs> Breaking up with the girl who was obsessed with me. It was more like skinning myself rather than tearing a band-aid off. <laughs> Period. Hysterectomies are awesome. <laughs> Pregnancy. I love my kids, but holy s asterisk asterisk t, do I hate being pregnant. <laughs> child custody court. F asterisk asterisk k and run mother wanted a child and a check, and didn't want me to see our kid. Fortunately, the judge saw otherwise, but the process took two years and lots of manipulation by the mother. Now that he's grown, he wants nothing to do with his mother. <laughs> Middle school, and to some extent, high school. Rarely, there are days when I fantasize in becoming a kid again, but then I quickly remember the amount of BULLS asterisk asterisk T and pain I had to go through during middle school and high school and I immediately tell myself you know what, adulthood isn't so bad after all. Update, thank you all for sharing your experiences. Hang in there. <laughs> Raising a toddler. I see them at the library, at the grocery store at that exasperated, look on the parent's face. Love my kids. School aged kids are easier. My husband talks about having another baby. No I'm done. <laughs> braces. Man, that f asterisk asterisk king sucked. Top braces in middle school. Top and bottom braces in high school. Retain a full time in college. Oral surgery a few summers ago. Now my teeth are nice and straight, and I only have to wear my retainer at night. But was it worth it? I like how my teeth look now, but the process was awful, not to mention the pain, frustration, and destruction of my self-esteem, especially when I was a teenager. For all the technology we have these days, still the best way to fix crooked teeth is to glue bits of metal to them? Come on. Medical science. Edit. I didn't expect this to blow up like it did. Thanks everyone for the replies. Also I did have the palette expander and the fassa mask that you had to put rubber bands on every night to pull your jaw forward, which I had blocked out that trauma until someone mentioned it in the comments. For the people asking about my surgery, it was to correct my jaw, it was out of alignment, and my bottom teeth were in front of my top teeth so much that I could fit the tip of my tongue through the gap. <laughs> Working in a bakery at a grocery store. I was basically doing 3 people's worth of work and going back and forth between the minus 20F freezer that I could end up being inside of for up to an hour if circumstances decided to screw me and our two 400, 600F ovens that were 7 feet tall and caused a fairly sizable gust of air that was so hot I couldn't look into the oven while it was open because it felt like the liquids in my eyes would boil. Helping my husband pay child support for his children from his previous marriage. More than the money, but having to listen every complaint and threat from his ex-wife. Once the last kid turned 18 she called with a new list of demands. And I got to say I don't have to listen to you anymore. I almost orgasmed right then and there. <laughs> Hopefully depression. I'm assuming it will come back someday, but so far so good. <laughs> Quitting drinking and detoxing from alcohol. Throwing that girl I broke up with out of my place. That was f asterisk asterisk king intense. Quitting smoking was terrible. Working retail on Black Friday. <laughs> High school. I was told I'd miss it one day, but I never did, and doubt I ever will. <laughs> Hopefully we'll never have to have a tooth extracted from my eye socket again. It wasn't a pleasant experience to have to be awake while a surgeon fished around in my mangled gums and jaw through my maxilla to pull out the molar that was pressing against my eye socket. Stay away from seesaws, kids. <laughs> Dealing with my mum. 
she's a narcissistic manipulative, mean, demanding b asterisk asterisk ch and two years ago I finally had enough and cut her out. Life has never been better for me, and I hear she's up to her same old s asterisk asterisk t, and has essentially pushed away anyone who ever cared for her with her b u l l s asterisk asterisk t. She just lost her latest fiancé due to something she did to his daughter, no idea what I only get vorge stories from my grandma, and her various prescription pill addictions are starting to affect her health. All I hear is not my f asterisk asterisk king problem and it's amazing. <laughs> Middle school. Many people were glad when high school ended, but I was crying tears of joy when I left the hellhole known as middle school. Three years of torture. Being a 15 year old girl, every emotion is so intense and kids are so mean, and acne is horrible. When I helped family members divide up a relative's estate, they fought and bickered, whereas I just tried to apportion it fairly and without rancor, I never wish to be executor again. Marriage. Small, simple wedding with our 20 closest family members and a private dinner after. Doesn't stop her from fretting about every single little detail. Bone marrow sample. May I never have to go through that again. Here is to remission. <laughs> Working at my old job that I was at for 4 years. It was great until the last year when they hired an old high school mutual friend of mine. She is the only person I use the works C asterisk asterisk T4. She was jealous that I was a senior worker with high respect and she just butchered me by talking s asterisk asterisk t about me constantly to the owner most about made up s asterisk asterisk t. She made me extremely depressed I started stuttering all the time and just wanted to die. My dad was getting remarried and I asked for it off months in advance. My boss made me find people to cover for it off because at that point the cowalker ruined my respect there. And then they talked s asterisk asterisk t about me trying to get it off. On my last day no one even said goodbye to me. Now I live in a new town with my girlfriend Hoss in college. And I'm an assistant manager at my new job. I'm so much happier edit. Thanks for the positive responses. It makes me feel like I wasn't wrong. It got so bad that the boss would let her literally scream at me for saying in a normal tone that I know something already because the customer just told me before I walked past her. I'm glad I didn't give in to the awful thoughts I was having. Life is very much better. I know she's still out there to try and ruin my day, but now she can't hurt my life anymore. <laughs> College. I don't think I was ever more miserable than my last semester there. I had finished everything related to my major, and so I was just taking random classes I needed for credits and I hated all of them. They gave me an award for academic excellence that semester, and I didn't even attend the dinner where they were handed out. I almost felt insulted, like I was being given an award for stabbing myself in an efficient manner. Didn't attend graduation either. I still remember getting in my car after my last exam. Thinking thank f asterisk asterisk k I never have to come back here again. It was pouring rain and the further away I got from the campus the sunnier it became. And I thought that was a perfect metaphor for how I felt. <laughs> Working full time in a job I don't like. Make sure to like and subscribe for more daily content. Thanks for watching.